Now I just got a PS3, and when I asked the donator why he sent it to me, he said it's because you could make a Japanese PSN account and download Japanese games. Well, this is really exciting. So let me show you how you can do the exact same thing. Okay, so why make a Japanese PSN account in the first place? I mean, it's filled with Japanese writing. You won't know what's going on. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you how to make an account, how to buy points, and in a second video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the Japanese PSN website because it is a tad different. So, let's start. Okay, first we're going to make a brand new account. So I'm going to make one for Yankee J since he grew up in Japan. Then, you're going to log into that account, go all the way to the right here, and go to the top to make a brand new PSN account for this persona. Go to the top and choose Japanese. And that's where you're going to start your problems. Now, everything's going to be in Japanese. So feel free to pause this video as you make an account and follow along closely. Now you'll have this long user's agreement. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, as I don't know how to get to the bottom without scrolling, and click this button over here to say that you agree to the terms. Now at the top here, you'll need to put in an email address that isn't already linked to a PSN account. Now you'll need to put in a password. And then one more time, the same password. This box is if you want to save your password to memory. I do, so I click this button. Now this one's a bit trickier. It's the security question. For ease of use, I choose the first option and the Japanese kana for ah. And then we're going to continue right here. Next, it's time to make a PSN ID for this account. Once again, I did one for Yankee J and then continue. The continue button should be self-explanatory since it's the furthest towards the right. Okay, now we need to do names. These are going to be in kana, so unless you know your name in Japanese, you can really honestly write anything. But for reference, and so that you can pause the video and figure out what your name is, more or less, here's the Japanese alphabet. The sounds for the vowels are a, i, u, e, and o, and those continue all the way down. Kaki, kuke, ko, sashi, suse, so, and so on and so forth. So I'm typing in ji, ya, small ya, su, te, n, ji, ya, su, te, n. But really, you can type in pretty much anything. Next is the surname. So I've written karu, mai, i, ke, ru. And once again, it can really be anything. This last one here is your gender. Top is male, bottom is female. Then continue again. All right, now this one's going to be a tough one. This is your address because, well, it's assuming that you live in Japan. Once again, choose anything for these boxes. They probably aren't going to try and send you stuff. The first is a five-digit number. Type in anything. Now here, I personally am choosing Osaka, since Yankee J grew up in Osaka, but you don't need to. Choose anything. The rest of these are more address information, street, prefecture, etc. To type in anything. Then as always, we continue. This next one, you're going to leave this box unticked. We don't want Sony looking you up, eh? And continue. Finally, we're here at the confirmation screen to make sure that everything is okay. Scroll to the bottom and click accept. And yeah, you're all finished making your account now and you can download great things from the Japanese store. But how do you get points? Well, you can't use a foreign credit card, so you actually have to use Japanese specific point cards. Where can you find these point cards? Well, if you shoot on over to an import site like PlayAsia or NCSX, you can get one. NCSX is in America and PlayAsia is based out of Hong Kong. Now the great thing about PlayAsia is that it's a digital download and you can get the code right away. Same thing with NCSX. Now do keep in mind that these will be Japanese points, not American or European, so you can't use them for American or European stuff, only for Japanese. Now you'll log into your Japanese account and go to the store. There's an icon right over here that will allow you to input your card code. And really, that's all there is to it. Pop in the code, hit OK, and now you have a Japanese-only points for your Japanese store. 
Now, the store browser is a tad different from the American one, so holy crap, they have LSD! Uh, yeah, store, right. Um, I'm gonna need another episode to help you maneuver over how to find stuff in the store, because it's different, so we'll save that for next week in the pipeline. Wow, they've got LSD. That's cool, it's a weird game. That's a weird game. I can't believe they got weird in this. Wow, that's... Wow. I wonder what other games they got in there. Man, I love this store.